so you can think about how long ago that was. And, and you all have so you have so much things now that you don't even appreciate. It. <laughs> you know that we did. But she told me to talk about some of the things that we used to play when I was young. And we didn't have toys like you all have. In fact, we have, between my sister and me, we had one bicycle. And that's the only thing. We didn't have two bicycles. But some of the things we, have you ever played uh, Annie Over? You know what that is? <laughs> well, that, I bet you have, haven't you? Uh, no, ma'am, I haven't. I well, used to play a lot of things, but I never played that. The house where I lived was a big house. But one would get on one side, and one on the other. We had a ball, I guess it's like a tennis ball or something, and you'd throw it over the house. And if somebody caught it, you're supposed to run around the house, you try to catch them. And see, we just had to make make believe we had something to play with. But that's one of the things that we played some, but we didn't too much. And, uh, well, I bet you played Dr. Ken Can, haven't you? How many of you played Kick the Can? You mean none of you've ever played that? Either? I played that. I'm really out of whack. <laughs> well, you put a can can on a stump or something, and everybody runs to. Uh, well, there's one person that knocks that tin can off with a stick, and everybody else runs to hide. And then that one person has to has to find them. You surely played hide and seek. It's a lot like tag, but the can's the base. That you know what it is, but that's but games like that's what we play, and I guess what we played more than anything was Kitty wants a corner, and I bet you couldn't tell me what that is. Where my mother and daddy lived, where I lived, there were a lot of trees in the yard, and what way we played Kitty wants a corner, we'd get at a each person would pick his own tree, and then there was one person that was it. And then we would try to swap places with somebody with the next person. And if the one who was it could get that tree, then somebody else would have to be it. I feel funny talking about these because they don't know a thing I'm Well, that's why we're doing it. They need to learn about things that kids did when they couldn't sit in front of a TV with video games. That's well, all they do you nowadays. Know, you know, that just worries me to death now because most of the time I go to... I have a son that lives in Huntsville. Most of the time I go over there on Sunday, uh, Christmas, I mean, and I come home Christmas afternoon, and you know there's not a child out playing with toys. They're all in the house playing with all these games that they have. And uh, my daddy, I don't know why he did, but he built a tennis court in our yard, and we all did learn how to play tennis. It wasn't quite as wide as it was supposed to be because there were too many trees. But as, when I grew up there, it was about 20 or 25 of us about my age. And some of the boys got to play in tennis. I mean, real good. So, and we played games in the house. Have you ever heard of Crocanola? Yeah, they always look at, do you know what that is? No, ma'am, I don't know Well, it's a board about, well, it's square, about half as big as this table. And it has, it's, it has, it's kind of related, related to pool table. It has things on either corner. And the, what we play with are wooden things about that big. And we have to line them up like you would play in pool. And then we had a, a I guess, one we used, and we flipped it with our finger, and and we played. I still got my crocodile board. I should have brought it, <laughs> but I didn't. Th but it was. I still would love to play it. Uh -huh. yeah, but you have to learn to. Well, it's just like you. All of you know what pool is, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's the way you play it. You you put your uh, whatever it is, the one you're going to do there, and then you hit it. And, uh, Were they like marbles or balls or what? No, else? they're little wooden things about that big around. <coughs> they flat? Well, they have a hole in the middle. Huh. And you have different colors, you know, for people to play. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't know whether, I, you, we used to play that a lot. And finally, we had a pool table in the basement at one time, and I could play real well. And I think that was the reason, because 
you'd have to learn how to hit them up the corner or make them go in the. And my, I have a son that lives in in the hospital, and he had a pool table at one time. And when I was over there. I said, "Let's go play pool." Well, I beat him. <laughs> so, but anyway, I like that. And then we played some other. We played a book <coughs> with card games and. Uh, I think one we played a lot was called Setback, and I don't even remember how to how to talk about that. But those were some of the games we played, and it's, they're so far-fetched as far as you're concerned, because you don't know what they are. And another thing in my daddy's pasture was a big pine thicket, and, and my sister, I have a sister two and a half years younger than me, and we played down there an awful lot. We played down the pine thicket, and we'd get old limbs from the pine trees and put them up and build us a teepee. <laughs> and we all we played down there just a lot like that. Uh, I tried to jot down some of the things that we did. Of course, our next thing I've got is we had chores that we had to do. How many of you have ever milked a cow? Have you? Two of them. And that was one job, and my daddy always kept two cows, so we'd always <laughs> help put in milk. So I had to, and incidentally, I was kind of the uh, tomboy in the family. <laughs> you know what a tomboy is? A girl that likes to do things and all, and, and I was. I was kind of a tomboy, and uh, daddy, my daddy depended on me a lot of times to do that. So I had to milk a lot, and uh, in, in the house, I lived in the house that his daddy had lived in, and in the two front rooms, there were big chimneys, and I mean big uh, fireplaces, and they were so long, well, he had the wood cut four feet long, and, and we had to make sure we brought wood in every night so that we could have a fire. That's the only way, place that we had to heat with, but that, uh, except, and he always wanted us to have what we call a back stick, and that would be a big round stick, and it was the heavy that we, the children didn't ever have to do it. He'd always bring that round stick in, put it at the back, he'd put it like at the back of the fireplace, and then we put the other, other wood up there. Is this what you want me to yes, talk about? And they'll have a few questions for you when you get done too. They um, usually have. They'll have some questions when you get done too. Okay. Uh, and I've already mentioned that I had to milk cows, and uh, he, we always kept two cows, so we'd always have milk. And a lot of times when my daddy would buy feed for the cows, they would have. They would be uh, have figures on them. You know, it wouldn't just be a solid white sack. Uh -huh. The sack would have figures, and he'd always try to get two sacks just alike, because we made our clothes out of our sacks. That's what we had there. So y'all made your own clothes? Huh? So y'all made your own Y'all made your own clothes? Well, we didn't know what it was. The only thing, we had Sears from book catalog. We could hold them to it. Yeah, and yeah, we made all of our clothes. I did, even after my children were born. I made nearly all their clothes. Did your mom make your clothes, or did she teach y'all how to make your own? She told us how. How old were you when you first started making some of your own things? I probably was about 12 or 13. How many of y'all in here think y'all could, at 12 years old, in another year, start making your own <coughs> clothes? A couple of you think you could learn to sew? Well, okay. we, we had to make them. Before. Yeah. We didn't know what it was to go store and buy clothes. Uh, that was the things that I had down. Now, what else can I talk to you about? Um, My daddy carried the mail, so he did, he had some land and he raised some corn and hay there. But he had somebody to work for him. The people that lived on in his. May I have your attention, please? Ms. Lana Smith, will you call the office? Ms. Lana Smith, call the office, please. Oh, that made me think what I was talking about. I'm sorry. 
Well, that's all right. But um, it w but we had a good time. We were growing up. I, I don't. I just can't see sitting in the house and playing with games all the time. And I brought a few pictures. I have. Uh, after I, well, before I quit teaching, I wanted to take art so bad. And my husband said, "Well, if you go to school and get your master's degree." then I'll let you take off. Uh -huh. So this is the last thing I painted. This is my son and his grandson. Oh, wow. That's a watercolor. And I don't paint faces, so I had to paint them like that. That's a good picture. Well, I'm proud of that, too. And I brought something else I wanted to show you because I'm proud of this. I've got another. You told me to bring a picture of me. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm hung up. Well, it's just a little picture. But this was made of me when I was about six years old. I'll pass it around if you want me to. I can make a scan of it. Okay. This this is me, and I had real white hair, and Mother colored it on her finger, you know. she <laughs> You don't know, do you? Yes, but that's what she curled it. And this is my younger sister. She's black-headed, and I was real white-headed. And if you look there, I've got my foot stuck up under me. Just before this picture was taken, I was out in the yard one day and stepped on a piece of glass and really... Oh, it looks like you had a bandage. Really cut my foot. So, oh yeah, that was also going to tell you that when we had pictures made and I was growing up, usually there was some man would come by, come in the community and take pictures because most of us didn't have camera. How many of you got cameras? See there? I mean, are they all on your phone? <laughs> or a lot of them? No. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> so, uh, I don't either. I don't. I don't use my cell phone much. I take it with me a lot just in case I need it. Thank you. But, uh, no, we didn't. Uh, Mother and Daddy had a camera, but it was a lot of trouble, and you'd have to take the film out and take them and get them. So I don't have many pictures of when I was young, but that picture that she has was one that I, uh, some man came by, and Mama wanted our picture made, so she dressed us up, and she didn't want that sore foot of mine to show, so she. She had me sitting up, sitting on my foot, and she could paste the picture around there for you see. I sat on the, my foot so they couldn't see the, where I had a bandage on my foot. And guess what Mama doctored my foot with when when I cut it? Kerosene. That was about the only medicine we had. And y'all could just have all kind of medicine, don't you? To use if you cut your foot or cut your hand. Or, hurt yourself. So, but and I've got one other picture I was going to show you. They call, when I was little, they called me Goldilocks because my hair was so white. <laughs> He's always in curls. It's white now, but <laughs> it doesn't do much in curl, but my hair was a blonde then. Yeah, you can see the bandage, can't you? You're looking for it. I looked at some albums and found a few pictures. Okay. Then the other picture I've got, I'm so proud of. I, I, my only grand, I have a grandson, and he's a photographer and lives in New York. And I had sent him this picture that, and asked him what he could do with it. I, I mean, I was just thrilled to death when he got it, when, when I got it. I've got to have him framed. So this was my daddy plowing a mule, and that's my two boys, and this oldest one is 61 now, so you don't know how old it was. Uh-huh. But he took... He so took, it was probably 50 years ago, maybe? 
Well, he he's is about to, if he's 61 no, he now, he's about... No, he wouldn't be, but about, about five. Oh, about guess. five, so about 55. Five, that's what Ricky and that's William, and uh, you want to pay Saturday. But I was so proud, I'm going to have them all framed for them for picture for Christmas. Let me scan it real quick, and then I'll... Okay. You want to ask me anything about anything? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Do you have a nickname? I have hearing aids and you'll have to talk to Do you have a nickname? Y'all speak up. Do you have a nickname? Well, first of all, ask her what her full name is. What's your full name? Well, uh, before I married, I was a right. Ruth Wright Cole. C-O-L-E. All right, and now, did, did, you, did you have a nickname when you were growing up or did they always just call you Ruth? Always call me Ruth. I never did have a nickname. Okay. Oh, you have electricity or I can't hear you. Do you have a, did you have electricity or indoor plumbing? When you were growing up, did your house have electricity or indoor plumbing? What kind of house was it? It had, when I first remember, we had a, and I can't even remember what it is. It's something, a chloride or something system and and we had lights in the house. We had the lights, you know, it had a fire in it. But we finally got electricity. I, w I would say I was probably about to eight or nine years old we got electricity. So I was born in 21, so that would be close to 30 years, I guess. Okay. Where were you born or why did you move to she didn't move to Crossville. She moved, she lived in Dawson. So you have to ask, tell me. Again. Um, where and uh, when were you? Where and when were you born? I was born in Dawson. I've lived there for 88 years, and the house that I was born in was there for a long time. And in 1991, I think it was, uh, we had a tornado that tore it down. But it was close to where I live, so I've always, and I live on part of my daddy's place there. What is your earliest childhood memory? I'm sorry, I can't hear that. Y'all, what is your earliest childhood memory? Oh my goodness, I don't know. <laughs> my just, sister well, I don't and I were real close, and we just, we, you know, know. But I was proud of that picture. It's a very good picture. Most of these kids only know <coughs> tractors and working with tractors. They wouldn't have known about how you had to do it before tractors. We, yeah, well, if, if Rick, if this right, I think he would be more than five, the oldest boy, and he's 61 now. So that would be quite a while ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. What sport did you like? What was your favorite sport? Did you have a favorite sport? Well... When I was in high school, I played, I played some basketball. I like that, but the, the year that I started high school, in the eighth grade, I went to Geraldine. They banned girls' basketball. Did you know that? No, ma'am. Yeah, they did. So and when they, you were in eighth grade, they banned girls' basketball. They thought it was unhealthy. <laughs> and so we, we had a team that year, and we played a junior high school. But... Um, then they, I don't know when basketball was made legal again, but when I went to college, it wasn't legal then. We didn't have a basketball team to play somebody else in college. But, uh, I played a lot of basketball in college. I played in physical education. Y'all don't even know what that is anymore, do you? I think I had something written down about the physical education. Let me finish question. How is the town different today from what it was when you were a child? How was the town different today than what it was when you were little? Well, we've always had a post office there, and there was a, well, uh, just as you come up there, how many of you know where Dawson is? Like you go to Collinsville, it's just before you go Dawson. down the mountain. There was a big, big old store there. You know, one of those big ones that, like they used to have. And uh, so 
so that's where we bought most everything we had. And then my after my husband got out of the Navy, he bought it. <coughs> and when my this youngest boy was, <coughs> he was, I think four months old, and that store burned. <laughs> so that's uh, okay. Somebody, I hear you have that. Did you have? Did you have family chores? Yes, she did. She said she had to milk the cow. That was her chore, was to milk the cow. Oh, I had a lot of chores. Bring in wood and milk the cow and feed the chickens. And there was always something to do on the farm. Did you receive an allowance? Yes, I did. Did you get an allowance? <laughs> no. Mama, Mama would give us an egg a piece. We could take to the store, and that egg, that egg would buy us one little piece of candy. No, I didn't know what the allowance was. Okay. Um, what was? Do you remember any? Do you remember any fabs from your young book, popularly hairstyles, clothes? Um, what were the popular hairstyles or clothes? Were there any fads when you were growing up? The clothes y'all had to make yourself, but were no, there any popular... We had a big... I was born in 21, and in 29 we had a big depression. You, you hear them talk about that now, because you know times are not as good now as they used to be. And so, we just did the best we could. That's when I'd make dresses out of sacks. And a lot of women made sheets out of sacks. What about shoes? What did y'all do for shoes? Oh, we always had shoes. I, we just some of the people were saying that um, they didn't have shoes year round. You did, or you might just have oh, to. Oh no, we went barefoot in the wintertime. I know one time we'd been out in the snow or something. I brought my shoes in and put them down real close to the fireplace, and they just turned up, and so I couldn't wear them anymore. <laughs> Okay. Who were your friends when you were growing up? Who were your friends when you were growing up? Well, of course, my sister was there, and then I had a, a cousin who was about a year and a half older than I. But we all lived right there close together. There was about 20 of them, boys and girls. And it seemed like our house would be where people would congregate, you know, to play get, or play. A, Card games and we played a lot of tennis and everything. Okay. Do you have any famous or infamous people in your family? Do you have any famous people or any infamous people in your family? No. <laughs> Not necessarily. Of course, they're all famous to me. <laughs> How are holidays? And it's awful to wear hearing aids and pay as much as they cost because I didn't hear her. Well, some of them talk real low anyway. I can barely hear them myself. She said, how were the holidays celebrated, like birthdays and Christmas in your family? Well, we did celebrate it. We celebrated <coughs> Christmas and we always had to go out and cut our Christmas tree because there were trees in the on the land there. One Christmas, my sister and I went out and we cut this tree and drug the thing to the house. And when we got there, it was so tall they had to cut it off. It was so big. But in the house that we lived in, well, a half tall of these walls, about 20 feet. Um, I'd say they're about 20. They're higher than most houses. On the inside, yeah, they're, I think they're about uh, nine feet now. They used to be taller, but they dropped the ceilings and made them lower. Well, our, two of the rooms in our house were 20 feet tall, and that tree was too big for it. What was your favorite thing to do for fun? For fun? Well, I just like to play everything. I never did. Uh, did you ever get to visit the movie theater in Crossville? Oh yeah, uh-huh. And I played some uh, a bowl down here a time or two, I think. Oh, that's right. We heard there was a bowling alley. Uh-huh. Do you remember the old jail? Do you remember the old jail? Do you remember Crossville's first no, jail? The jail? I don't I don't remember that of course. 
Our town was down there. We didn't get to go places. Yeah. And and when I was growing up, if if Daddy or Mother one said we're going to town, it was Collinsville. Collinsville was the nearest town that we could buy anything. You could buy clothing down there and a lot of things. But yeah. that was that was town to us. What was school like for you as a child? What was the school like? Well, there, we had a school at Dawson, and I went there. There were two teachers there, and I went there until I was in the eighth grade. And it was just, just a two-room school. And, and, and I've taught, see, I've, t I've taught in this, I've taught one year in Athens, Alabama, and then I came back here, and uh, I taught it, I've taught at Geraldine some, and I've finished my teaching here <coughs> at Crossville. I taught physical education because we had, I was going to tell you about our physical education too. Okay. I had girls physical education, and but we didn't have a basketball team, we didn't have a volleyball team, we didn't have a baseball team, softball team, but we played ourselves and we, in the wintertime, we had to play in the auditorium. And uh, the coaches always were real good to help me. Of course, they kind of liked me to go and do it. But uh, anyway, they all liked square dancing. We did a lot of square dancing. And, and the boys, they, I still see boys that say they enjoyed that. And one year, I, we tried to have some uh, competition. And we got some... Uh, uh, horseshoes out, and the boys had the biggest time playing horseshoes. <coughs> they were really good. Uh -huh. What was your profession, and why did you choose? That's it? what she was just talking about, darling. She was a teacher. She and taught I, school. I majored in physical education, and I had thought that I always liked arithmetic, and I thought math. I thought I'd major in that. But I had an older sister, too. She was eight years older than me, and she had already been to college. And she said, well, you ought to major in physical education. So that's the reason I did it. So. What stories have came down to, to you about your parents? Are there any um, stories, family, real important family stories that have been passed down from your grandparents? Stories? <coughs> Oh, well, I guess there's a lot, but I don't, don't know. My, my grandparents, my mama's mother and daddy lived with us several years before they died, but my daddy's mother and daddy, well, my daddy's mother died when he was six. But, and his daddy was a doctor, and he married again not long after grandma died. Of course, I don't remember that. But he had three children at home, and the woman he married had three, so they both needed a partner. You know, and they lived there at Dawson, so he was a doctor until he died there at Dawson. Well, have I told you anything you didn't know? But it's, it's very different now, you know, and I have a little great-grandson, and it's just ridiculous at the toys he gets at Christmas. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I, and I already bought him, I bought him something, one of those things that has to have batteries in it that'll turn over, and what is that? It'll, it's a car thing, and it'll turn over and go up steep things. I've got it for Christmas. I've I, seen those, I know what you're talking about. I think, uh, but I usually get him clothes. Um. I've got a question for you about P.E., teaching P.E. You said you taught the girls P.E. So when you were teaching, did the boys and girls have P.E. at um, separately? Yeah. Uh -huh. Except they I, don't do that now, so they uh -huh. they don't understand that. So when y'all, years ago, <laughs> boys would have had P.E. by themselves. Yeah, in high school. In high school. And the girls would have been by themselves. They would not have had it together. Uh -uh. Except in wintertime when it was bad and we couldn't get outside. That's when we did it. And, and I sold... Well, then we could sell stuff at school, and I sold enough, bought a trampoline. They did that a lot. And and we just had races and little things like that. that uh, 
but it's quite different now. I just, but I think the thing that I told you about coming home Christmas and not seeing anybody, any child playing with any toys outside, it bothered me to think, you know, they, all they got was electrical stuff that they yeah. could go inside and play with. All right, anybody else have any other questions? Well, I hope I told you a little something they didn't know. Yes, ma'am. But I wanted you, if you ever have a desire to paint, <laughs> I, that's my favorite. That's a beautiful picture. Actually, um, about two years ago, I think this is our third year, we actually got an art teacher here at the school. Yeah, I know you did. And um, so they haven't got to do much this year as far as doing some painting, but she works with them on occasion and tries to get them started a little early to see if they'll like it or not. And they do a little painting from time to time. But it's all through money that we've raised. The school doesn't pay for it at all. Yeah, well, I know Carolyn. Oh, okay. I taught her. <laughs> her. She was a cheerleader when I was here. So you were Miss Holcomb's teacher? Huh? You were Miss Holcomb's teacher? Yeah. Karen's? Y'all don't know Karen Holcomb, the one that runs the Santa shop. Well, there's probably yeah. some more here. I don't know a lot that I've Ashley's told already retired. And that's Ashley's teacher. Yep, that's Ashley's teacher. So... This is your teacher's teacher. Pretty neat, huh? Well, what do we say? Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Thank you very much for coming. Can I? Well, the right I, I for the football games. Little, but I wasn't sure where where your 